Thanks for joining me. Sam Diep here with Inside Pool Extreme Instruction. In this segment, we have Hillbilly Charlie Bryant. He's going to demonstrate a few instructional tips for us. Take it away, Charlie. Well, uh, in the next good, in the next few years, if the good Lord's willing, uh, I'm going to put probably five to maybe six books on the market, ten or fifteen DVDs. And what I'm going to do, what I'm doing here, is giving y'all a little bit of some teasers of what's coming out here real soon. And uh, one of the first things, well, to let everybody know, my name's Charlie Bryant. I'm originally from North Carolina. Uh, been playing pool for almost 35 years now. I'll be 40 my birthday. Uh, and I really love the game and it's intrigued me since I was a young kid. And I've always really tried to find the things that I needed to make me better at what I do. And I'm a firm believer in systems when it comes to learning something and not doing it totally by feel. Most people play this game totally by feel. And an example that I like to give people is that most people are playing with a house that's a one-story house or a two-story house made out of bamboo and sand. And when it comes to the knowledge that I have of the game with systems of everything I do, I'm playing with a 40 or 50-story skyscraper. So let's, uh, right now, uh, let, let me get set up for it and I'm gonna help y'all with the break starting first. One of the biggest problems that I find when people are breaking the pool balls is that there's a couple major mistakes that they make. Uh, one thing that they do is they, they try to start their body too late. When they start the stroke forward for the break, that's when they want to start their body forward. Well, there's no chance that the body can be as fast as the arm. So what you have to do, one second, let me grab the cue ball again. Okay, right now I'm going to show the mistakes that people make with their waist and their, the way they hold their feet. Well, one thing that I'm a firm believer, one thing that you can't do is turn your back foot at 90 to this line of the shot. One of the other major mistakes that people make is they squat both legs. So the timing, it's real easy to get off your timing in the rotation of trying to come through the ball with the body rotation. One of the... Two, a year and a half ago, I worked with little Landon Shuffett up at Derby City, I mean at the U.S. Open. The following year at Derby City, which was like three months later, his dad told me his break improved five miles per hour from a 45-minute lesson with him. And he's learning to squat and control the cue ball a lot better. So what we're doing here, what I want people to understand is when, when you start your stroke back to break, you have to start the body forward. See this little bit of a rotation? So now when you start forward, the body can catch up and the body, the hand and the hip comes together at the same time. If you're squatting, it's real easy to lose this rotation. I mean, it's so easy if you're squatting the leg or turning. See, I've got my back foot at 90 compared to the line of the shot. So a good 45, good stability it's okay to waggle and make sure you're dancing and you're comfortable. So one thing that I'm a firm believer in is having balance so that you can transfer energy. Like any great boxer that I've ever seen that hits somebody, they hit somebody real hard with short compact motions instead of long. One of the things I do as well when I break is I stay real close to my bridge. So let me break one rack and show y'all a little bit about the fundamentals of how the transfer of energy works. If y'all can, try to mostly, don't, don't pay attention to less what, what happens with the rack, y'all. Try to watch how my mechanics and how I start through the break. Well, I made a couple. I couldn't break real hard. I'm breaking with my playing shaft, y'all. I don't want to take a chance of warping it. So, one more time where you can really watch my legs and how my body moves. I'm going to ride her back and hit them one time. See how I'm balanced? I'm balanced here. Now if you can, I'm going to do it slow motion and not break the balls. I'm just going to go beside the ball. 
So when I start back, I'm coming in a little bit with my sh knee, a little bit with my shoulder. I'm calling it a cocking myself for a recoil effect. Here. And then I'm trying to combine the hip and the hand at the same time that I'm making contact with the cue ball. Well, I thought I'd ride her back one time. I don't know if y'all seen that. The cue ball went about <laughs> six foot in the air. <laughs> Thank y'all. Uh, this is my little segment. Y'all done got me sweating. This is my little segment on brake tips. Here's some breaking news. Inside Pool Magazine can now bring the world's greatest players right to your front door. Subscribe to Inside Pool for the annual price of just $19.99. Each issue is action-packed with high-impact photos, tournament coverage, in-depth player profiles, and much, much more. Call 888-428-7665. That's 888-428-POOL.